Yo, welcome back to more Made in Abyss episode 5. So last time Rico and Reg got out of the edge of the abyss, first lair. You know, congrats. You know, that's that was the first, that was the test basically from Leader in pursuing them. Like, of course, he let them go, but he was going to try to get them back, of course. Uh, but as a test, you know, if you can make it out of this point before I get to you, then, you know, maybe you're ready. You're definitely not if I can catch up to you by then. But I don't know. I don't know if they're, they've stopped in pursuit of them. I assume they have. I mean, the Force of Temptation, this is the lair where they stop going after Red Whistles, right? Like, if you make it to this point, they just deem it a suicide, right? Which is a drastic jump from um, the dangers of the edge, as far as I could see. I mean, that spider creature they ran into was pretty dangerous. I, I could see, like, especially if you don't have fucking Reg, like a robot boy to, like, save you. Then yeah, you're, you're probably just fucked from those things, so... Um, yeah, but it's it's definitely gonna get even more dangerous from this point, because there's no more familiar faces. You know, they ran into our boy at the very end, and he was gonna escort them to the rescue camp, but, you know, Rico was like, nah, like, this is part of my test, like, I wanna do this myself. Uh, dangerous, but, you know, I respect it, and so did he. Uh, left them with some provisions before he left, and... A bit of a somber look as they departed. And when he did, you know, like reflecting like he knew this day would come, like we're all just the lost children of the abyss, like pretty, uh, pretty somber stuff, man. Uh, but definitely adds to the feeling of like what everyone, how everyone feels like, especially doing what they do and like spelunking down here and witnessing like the, the vastness of it, I guess the beauty of it, the... The danger, the excitement, like, it's it's a very complex thing, along with, like, you know, the people that they've lost. I'm sure he's lost plenty of people. He's seen a lot of people lost, so. A couple cool things I was told, uh, Contrary on Patreon was talking about, because, yeah, like, that spider monster, it looked, the way it looked was, like, distorted, the way it was drawn, so it looked, like, very creepy. Apparently, like, they translated the art from the manga, the way it's drawn in there is, like, with wavy brush strokes, and... Like, some panels, like, look like paintings. And, uh, yeah, it's it's cool they translated that to the show and didn't use, like, CGI or even the same animation as everything else. Because it definitely makes them look way more scary and jarring. So, yeah, I, I look forward to seeing more of that from uh, the creatures of the Abyss, especially as we go deeper. Potentially, because, like, they implied before, like, humans that lose their humanity, um... As part of uh, as part of the curse, like the deeper they descend and then try to ascend, like you could turn into a creature, or you can, I guess, before you die. I don't know. They kind of implied that, but I, I'd be very curious if there was like human creatures down there, like white whistles that have lost themselves, like still wandering down there. You know, something like that. That could be pretty crazy. We might even see like some lost red whistles in the forest of temptation, or those like. Uh, their bodies or like uh, just who knows what we're gonna see down here whatever like danger it is that they don't even bother to go after you at this level so uh, I look forward to that apparently the manga also has like cool data entries on all the monsters like a, a kind of extensive like uh, information about them which sounds really cool um, it makes me wish I could read those I'm, I'm sure there's not there isn't really a non-spoiler way for me to look those up so I won't because I, even if there's like a page of them, I might scroll too far and see something I haven't seen yet. So uh, maybe that's something I can check out after I watch everything. And also I was told by Thorfinn on Patreon that the whole thing with Rico's cooking. Because, yeah, when when Rico showed Reg like, you know, the soup she made. You know, I guess the stew or whatever. Um, I thought it looked good. <laughs> so when he was like, oh man, you know, he was kind of like apprehensive about it but then tried it was like oh you know this is good i was like like rico bombs um so yeah the joke is actually that her food looks terrible but it's supposed to taste good i didn't get that impression at all from the anime and apparently that's like um something that didn't translate well but uh you know shout out to rico's uh recipes it, ma it makes me wonder i'm sure because this is true for like every show with uh things like that I'm sure there's, like, YouTube videos or people who have made those recipes, like Rico Bombs and, like, that soup she made. Um, I love when people do shit like that. <laughs> but I think that's all I gotta say. 
about this so far. We're going to see what this next layer is about, how Rico and Reg deal with it, if they can get to the next layer. Um, they don't have the star compass anymore, so it'll probably return to them at some point, like Rico said. And let's continue our descent. Let's go. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Down we go. Such convenient arms. It looks huge, too. How many meters tall is this one? We've survived our lesson. Uh, well, let's survive some more. Not any humans, anyway. Look at that. The way they're drawn. So crazy. So this is how we ended last time. Oh boy. Hmm. You're like ants walking through this. Magiri. Oh. That is very good to know. I wonder if these were intentionally placed here. I'm just questioning the whole design of the abyss. Rico knows her stuff. Seeker camp, right, okay. Uh... This better not be bait. Oh god. Oh god. Look, if it's someone l l that legit needs help, sure, let's save them. But if I swear, if this is like a bait for them, oh boy! Oh, oh no! Holy fuck! Wait, a purple whistle. Wait. Oh my god. You are saying that. Oh my god. That's fucking terrifying. I love that. A corpse weeper. Oh my god. Already dead. Just mimicking their last cries. Holy fuck. No way, dude. There's no way that was leader. That wasn't leader. Some other purple whistle. No way. Oh god. Oh boy. Come on, Reg. Come on. Oh wow. How dare you? God damn, right away. Already so intense. I love it though. That is a, such a coolly creepy creature. I had a feeling it was a bait cry. But that is still really fucking cool. It mimics the cries of a person it just killed. Jesus.
This opening is so hopeful. And there's Mama. In that field of flowers. Got a long way to go. Got a long way to go. Incinerator. Ooh, man. Just blocking. Oh, fuck. No. Yeah, the curse. That's right. If she ascends up. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. She's already passing out. Oh, my God. No. No, dude. No, dude. Reg, you gotta use your weapon. I know you don't know how, but... Oh, God. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Come on. Instinctively, you know what to do. Your body remembers. That's right. Let's fucking go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Reg. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez, man. I don't know who put that weapon in you, but that is something. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Come on, come on, Reg. Oh, man. We're already working so hard to survive, man. We're only in the second layer. <laughs> Jesus. She's already catching the effects of the curse. Yeah, you gotta rest, buddy. Fuck, man. But you know what? What Reg said there about remembering, like, I did something like this before. My body remembers. That implies that he lost his memory at the time he shot the shot before. Right? When he saved Rico the first time. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was really lucky you didn't hit her, man. I was kind of thinking that, too. I don't know what you are, buddy. No idea. But you're powerful, and you saved her, so good job. Hey. Yeah, relax, relax. Oh, my God. Checking for wounds. What does she see? Yeah, that. Right. <laughs> what do you call this? Incinerator. Oh, I should have known.
What was? Oh. Right. So it was a, it was much more controlled. So he'll be able to do it again. It's true. Reg? Reg? Did the strain of using it just catch up to him? Or was that something else? No. 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 Stop it. Stop it. No, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that, Made in Abyss. I guess so. Yeah, because if you can't control it well anymore, the energy outputs probably like really takes a toll. That would make sense. Oh, the notebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's gone, basically. Yeah. <laughs> there will be much more to write about later. Hmm. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Terrible. Whoa. Damn. Good job, Rico. Hell yeah. That thing is rare. You're eating that corpse sweeper you killed. Oh, right. Yeah. That is true. Hmm, so it's nothing new. Circle of life type shit. Okay. I like that. I like that. God.
Reg's, like, empathy is, like, interesting. If he is, like, fully a machine, whoever made him, like, truly, like, imitated a human completely. Like, complete with the emotions, like, the anxiety, the empathy. It's, like, it's really interesting. And, yeah, like, he's made to look like a human as well, so. He's basically one. Yikes. Alright, here we go. Traversing the second layer. <laughs> Reg is so... Because what would you do if Reg wasn't here? What would Rico do, man? I don't know about grabbing those, but I guess... Got no space. <laughs> Take one. Take one. Oh boy. All right, good work. What now? Oh my goodness. Lowest area of the depth second layer. Inverted forest. Here it is. Wow. Huh. No more shortcuts here. Yeah, that, ooh, that makes sense. All right. What are you doing? Oh. There you go. Hey. Oh, Reg's so nice, man. Yeah, he's good. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> A symbol. Why did that just trigger? What? It's vanishing. What? Who the hell threw a rock? Oh. You also look terrifying. Inbios. Ooh, boy. Yeah, you gotta go somewhere. They're throwing tree bark at them? Look at their hands. Oh, God. Like rakes. Oof. Oh, my God. One fell. What are you supposed to do down here, man? How do you get out of here? There's a route. Okay. I guess walk along these branch, these uh, tree trunks. Oh. I've seen you in the opening. Master? Good. Good. Hmm. Huh, okay. Cool. Okay.
Okay. Uh, that's what we saw. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect this to be the Seeker camp. Are they going to lower the gondola? Okay, Rico knows that much, but they're not. Yeah. That's, yeah, good thinking, Reg. Oh, boy. Hope that's one way. Did someone grab his hands? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's you. Oh, Zen. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Look at her whistle. She has the same kind of hair as the woman running the orphanage. Oh, God. No autoplay. Okay. Time for this cheery ass ending again. And that's where they just were. Here in the inverted forest. We see the telescope place there. Yep. Let's see the two of them there. And even deeper. <laughs> it was this bunny girl that they meet. Just please, st yeah, please stick together, man. Oh boy. The flowers that bloom at the ends of the earth. Yep. Oh my god. Whew. Down we go. Oh, they're right there. Next episode, Seeker Camp. Cool. I like how they show where they're at at the end of every episode. Okay, hold up. Let me pull this up again. I just paused here. Um... Liza is played by Maya Sakamoto. I didn't know that. You know, you know what? I've been pretty sure it's been like Rico's mom talking at the end of every episode, like doing the narration. Yeah, and I thought maybe the voice was a little familiar, but I always kind of feel that way with certain Japanese VAs, and sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm not. But that's crazy, because yeah, I know her from Fate stuff and uh, Monogatari, so very cool. Um. So yeah, a uh, good episode. I was surprised like how just quickly we were in danger, dude. Second lair, so precarious, man. And the design of the inverted like forest itself is like just so like that's just a massive drop all around you. Everything is inverted. The water is like flowing upwards. These monkey like obias, I think they're called, with their like double digit limbs that look like rakes, like chasing after you, like fucking throwing tree bark at you and just. Risking their lives to get to you, like the, the scene where it showed like one falling off and one that was about to tumble over as well. That added like to the terror as well, like the fact that these creatures are risking their life to get to you like so desperately. And also like with the Corpse Seeker as well, of course, I love that thing where it's like the, the creature, the predator, they do the bait cry, like imitating someone asking for help and someone comes and it's actually the, the one that killed them. Uh, I love that. And of course their design. Like with the, the Obias and like all the other creatures I've seen so far. 
just looks very, very terrifying. The fact that they were in packs and they were like intelligently like deflecting Reg's arm from rescuing um, Rico. They were swarming him like, thank goodness he like was able to have a moment of like intuition and even like, like hearing his own voice from like a memory that he can't quite piece together. But at least like remembering the feeling, like knowing there was something he could do. Like I've done this before. Let me just do it. Like that was that was really cool. So I I really appreciated that. Um, because yeah, that implies that the moment he lost his memories was when he saved Rico, right then. Which makes me think that he was he was coming up. So he was he's been ascending. If the theory is correct that he was made deeper into the abyss, and Liza saw him like around what the sixth layer or something. So he's been like coming up, right? And he was almost too um the village up top so it's like that's either like making me think that he was sent up possibly like if liza made contact after he uh was watching her and maybe was able to do that or if someone else sent him up to maybe destroy the village maybe that was his original purpose to come up and actually destroy the village maybe he was actually aiming for Rico when he was doing that shot initially but um he ended up um hurting himself and losing his memory I don't know but now that makes sense that we know like the moment it happened and it just makes me wonder more like why he was up there why he was coming up so we'll probably find that out at some point Reg is in is like what the fuck am I that he can do something like that Oh, bless whoever put that weapon inside him. Like, it's got to feel crazy to be able to do something like that. But, man, that saved their asses, man. Even when he, not being able to control it. Him, like, I appreciated that he considered the fact that he almost, like, hit her as well. Like, because that's a very real thing, too. It was a big blast. Like, it was right there. Thankfully, it didn't. And she ended up okay. He was able to catch her and they were able to get away. But shout out to Rico. You know, reassuring him. He saved her. You know, that's it. You know, and Rico's been been amazing for morale because she is just so determined she's so optimistic she's like she has this ambition of wanting her legend to be known and like that's why she's upset about losing her journal like i, I wish i could have lost it like when we got to the bottom like it'll just have what we've done up to this point you know she has a great attitude and of course her knowledge of like how to cook and just about the the region itself from what she's heard about the rescue um not the rescue camp the, the seeker camp i don't know why i'm saying keep playing rescue um, the seeker camp and about that and you know we know Ozen is the one who saved helped save her back then along with Liza she has Ozen has like the same hair as the lady at the orphanage I wonder if they're related but yeah so uh, this was a good episode I don't know what else to really say about it so far um Ozen definitely seems like uh, she's gonna be a tough cookie to deal with, but uh, I feel like ultimately she is gonna have she's I feel like she's gonna be the kind of character who has like she's gonna be very harsh and is gonna be very like testing of them and kind of determine like you know what what they want what they're doing um even even with it being Rico like the the daughter of you know Liza you know because Liza is Liza everyone knows and respected Liza. But I feel like even then, that's not going to mean much to her and she's going to determine Rico's character for herself. But ultimately, she's probably going to be the kind of character that has that just wants this to ensure the safety of everyone that's at the secret camp. And uh, she probably just cares a lot, but is very harsh. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that goes well. I look forward to that and meeting this other like blue haired character. I think we finally finally saw her on the telescope. Um, it sounds like uh, Ozen is her master, but when she called out to her and she didn't answer, Ozen, like upon hearing that, went herself to go uh, see what was up. She must have had like a, a feeling or known after um, hearing that, but I don't know. Oh, one thing I also wanted to talk about, um, this thing ties into something else that I wanted to mention that I thought was cool, but Reg's like empathy, like his, uh, he has a lot of like a high emotional intelligence. For like being a machine and that's listen i've i've played near automata you know i've uh it's not that he you know shouldn't be able to but it's like the fact that he was made with that is like very interesting like who who, who made him so much of a human right like everything about him is just a human well not everything not his 
arms or his durability or his... But you know. He's, he has the emotions of a human, like the, the body mostly of a human. And... So it's like, huh. And... So he asks interesting things sometimes, like, you know, when Rico brought brought up that they were eating the, um, the corpse, uh, the corpse seeker, and like, he was like, "Wait, did this eat like cave divers? Like, like this ate people, and we're we're eating that? Like, like you don't have a problem with that?" And you know, Rico was like, "You know, that's true, but um, you know, she was talking about before, like, well, we've had meat before, like the blue whistles would bring it up from like creatures from the first layer, but those creatures like also fed on other." cave divers so it ended up being like this kind of like circle of life kind of thing like everything like everything within the abyss kind of like sustains um each other and keeps each other going like like when cave divers die they become the food for all the creatures of the abyss and then the creatures are the food for the cave divers to keep going as well like i don't know i like that that was that was a that was a very insightful thing for like Rico to, to just say in that moment because it was a good response to what uh reg said because reg had a good point you know i there would be like some kind of moral dilemma there probably i mean when it considering their circumstances they probably don't have the room to take a moral high ground because when you're desperate like you don't have that's that's not a how do i say this it's not a luxury that's not a, a privilege you have when you're, um, you live like that, you know, you gotta take what you can get, um, but her answer was still just as good, so I don't know, I appreciated that, but yeah, I think that's actually all I have to say about this one, um, thank you very much for watching, thank you for spending your time watching my reaction, uh, have a great rest of your day or night, if you're seeing this on YouTube and you want to get early access to even more of my Made in Abyss reactions, Three episodes ahead on Patreon. Of course, if you leave comments, I'll read them here on YouTube anyway. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you very much for watching my reaction. Thank you for spending time watching. Um, have a great rest of your day or night. If you're seeing this on YouTube and you want to get early access to even more of my Made in Abyss reactions, I am three episodes ahead on my Patreon. So that's for $5. You can get early access to that. And every other series that I do, I post twice a week, just like here on YouTube. So that's there if you want to support the channel. But otherwise... Most of all, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Peace.